Welcome to a special All of the Above short for the Classroom Q&A with Larry Ferlazzo blog on Education Week. My name is Manuel Rustin. I'm a 14-year high school social science teacher currently teaching in the Los Angeles area. And I'm Jeffrey Garrett. I am a former high school social studies teacher, a former principal in New York City, and now live and work in Los Angeles supporting school leaders in one of the nation's largest school transformation organizations. All right, and together we host an internet TV show and podcast called All of the Above, where we take an unstandardized look at various issues impacting our schools today. You could catch us at aotashow.com. Today, we're here to explore the question, what should teachers unions look like 20 years from now? Jeff, you wrote a really compelling response to this question for Larry's blog, questioning how confident we should be that teachers unions will even be around in 20 years. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I think, Manuel, that uh, unfortunately we're living at a time right now where public sector unions are facing some pretty existential threats. Um, just uh, last year, the Supreme Court deadlocked on a case coming out of the state of California that uh, would have threatened to take away teachers unions ability to collect uh, millions of dollars from teachers through through dues. Uh, the Supreme Court now with uh, Neil Gorsuch is set to take up a very similar question about public sector unions in general. Um, and th this poses a serious financial threat to unions. Um, that combined with the fact that union membership has been on a decline for about the last decade or so, um, you know, these are these are big issues we have to grapple, uh, have to grapple with in terms of what unions could look like. And, and from my perspective, I think should look like to continue to thrive 20 years from now. I think it's really about filling a space that's much needed in our profession, which is redefining the role of unions to be about um, uh, capturing and understanding and being the authority around what does great practice look like uh, in our profession? What does the standards for entry into and for excellence in our uh, profession look like? Um, other professions have an association where uh, people res really respect the opinion of the American Medical Association or the American Bar mm -hmm. Association. Um, we don't really have a comparable organization for educators. And uh, I think that's a space that unions could evolve to fill um, that could potentially survive some of these threats that unions are facing right now. All right, great. And you have a lot more detail in your full response, which is, on, which is posted on Larry's blog on Ed Week. So make sure you check out Jeff's full response in our post on Ed Week. And remember, for news, analysis, and unstandardized takes on education today, head over to aotashow.com and check us out. Thank you very much.